Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to dive into a topic that's crucial for all website owners and administrators, website security. In this video, we'll be discussing how to SSL secure your website with Let's Encrypt and how to use it with Nginx. You may have heard about SSL certificates and how they help protect your website and visitors from online threats such as hackers and data theft. SSL certificates also help to increase your website's credibility and search engine ranking. In this tutorial, we'll be using Let's Encrypt, which is a free and open source SSL certificate authority that provides SSL certificates to anyone who needs them. And we'll be using Nginx, which is a popular server software, but it's also used as a reverse proxy, load balancer, mail proxy, and HTTP cache. We'll be using it to integrate Let's Encrypt with our website. So if you're ready to secure your website and ensure the safety of your visitors, then let's get started. Okay, let's start with Let's Encrypt. The first thing you need to do is install CertBot, which is a tool that Let's Encrypt provides to help you install SSL certificates on your website. I'm currently logged in into my AWS account EC2 T2 micro account via SSH and to install CertBot, I'll just type sudo apt install CertBot and it will uh, prompt you with this. Just hit OK. And after it's finished, then we have CertBot installed. We can then now use it to generate a SSL certificate for our domain. The command you need to run will depend on the type of server software you're using, but for Nginx, it's as simple as sudo certbot dash dash nginx dash d then your domain name dot com. But we're gone. We're not gone. We're not going to do that. However, in this tutorial, we're going to uh, use our own nginx site configuration file because the config file that certbot generates will have a different location so we'll have to do it manually for example we want to pass a reverse proxy uh, to our django web app that we are hosting locally so in this video though we're just gonna uh, run a test server using python and um, an indexed html with a simple message um, hello HTTPS from Let's Encrypt and Nginx instead. Okay, so, so to obtain a certificate from Let's Encrypt, type in the following sudo certbot cert only dash dash standalone dash dash email then your email. So in my case, I'll just I'll put my email here, my own email and um, dash d then your domain name dot com in my case uh, it's um, i'm just gonna blur it out on the video and of course if you have multiple domains or subdomains you can also pass them as additional arguments each with a dash d option all right so i i just only have one domain so I think uh, that's already good. I'm just I'm gonna press enter now, and it's going to generate me the certificates that I need. And then, of course, if you uh, want to find out what each option uh, we pass certbot does, then you can uh, type certbot dash dash help or uh, the man pages man cert bot all right for more information but uh, let's look uh, let's have a closer look at what each uh, option does so okay so let's go back and have a closer look at what each of these uh, options that we pass actually does so cert only obtains or renews a certificate without installing it while dash dash standalone option is what we pass if we don't intend to use it with apache 
which is also a web server like nginx um, then the rest is uh, self-explanatory also make sure that you own the domain or subdomain that it contains and that it contains an a record that points to your web server's ip address otherwise it will fail all right so now with all of that out of the way we can now then you we can then now install nginx so let's just clear our terminal and type sudo apt install nginx um, press uh, press enter and um, and it will also prompt you with this and just hit OK now that it's uh, finished uh, installing we can uh, change into the Etsy directory uh, slash engine X slash sites dash available all right so that's CD slash Etsy slash engine X slash sites dash available we're gonna list the file and we have a one file default here and back up the original configuration file with sudo mv default to default dot reference now we can create a new configuration file with sudo vim or sudo nano default and then um, you can copy and paste my code from my github gist github.com by salvador this one i'll post a link to the description down below all right so we're going to uh, copy and paste this here and then save it then exit after you have copy and pasted my code you have to change a couple of things by the way so i'm gonna edit it again and um, the first thing you have to change is of course the text that says abc.domain.com and replace it with your domain so i'm just gonna replace it with my demo Here's another one. All right, so you need to find all of the abc.domain.com text occurrences and replace it with your domain. And after you're done with that, um, you can uh, save it and exit. Oh yeah, also one more thing, you can also um, change the um, local port that you want nginx to listen to for our python test server for example we're going to use port 8080 so i'm i'm going to change this to um, port 8080 the location and yeah another thing i also almost forgot so uh, before exiting i i want to uh, explain what this configuration actually does so basically this config file just listen to listens to ports eight ports 443 for SSL and the default port which is port 80 right here so port 443 for SSL and port 80 for HTTP and reverse proxies our test server uh, that is running on our local host on port 8080 and whenever a visitor accesses our site using plain http like for example here uh, they then get redirected to our ssl ser server forcing them to use https instead all right so now we can now save it and close the file and test our nginx so to check uh, if there are no syntax error we can type sudo nginx-t 
Oh, now I uh, have a error message here uh, telling me that the test has failed. So I have to, if, all right. So if you encounter the same thing, then you have to go back and check your config file if you have uh, made a typo error. So I think I finally um, sort things out why I uh, get that error. That's uh, kind of uh, funny because I I have uh, generated uh, an SSL certificate uh, before I made this video. So um, obviously uh, it, it has um, created another one and appended uh, that 0001 and from my config file I haven't uh, realized that the cert bot has done that so all I have to do is edit my um, config file again and append the dash 001 to my domains all right save it so now hopefully this one would work and pass the test and the test is successful all right so the next step now is to restart nginx with sudo system ctl restart nginx and now i'm going to my home directory by typing cd and uh, where it, it, that's where my um, index.html is located and type python3 or sudo python3 dash module http dot server 8080 all right and that's it you have now ssl secured your website with let's encrypt and nginx now when visitors come to your website their connection will be encrypted and secured protecting their sensitive information from being in intercepted by hackers or third parties okay so let's test that and uh, head over to my browser i'm going to open a new uh, private browser here and i'm um, gonna try and access it with a uh, plain http all right http colon slash slash demo dot And now, as you can see, it now redirects me to HTTPS. And now we know that SSL is working. So there we have it. Now we know that SSL securing our website with Let's Encrypt and Nginx is a straightforward process and that it can be done in just a few steps. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you're now ready to take your website security to the next level. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech tutorials. This is Rai. See you.